Hello everyone. Today we're releasing version 3.4.2 of New Frontier Craft. This update is mainly intended just to polish off some rough edges on version 3.4 before we jump into version 3.5 development. So hopefully everyone enjoys some of the small little features we, we've done for this update. Uh, we have added item repair mechanics from a release 1.2.5, so just craft together any two uh, items in a crafting table or a your inventory and it just repairs them right back up. Uh, fence gates can now be opened and closed by redstone signals. So just like doors, you can now attach a lever or a redstone wire to a fence gate. Uh, we've added light level display to the F3 menu using code from the Better Than Adventure mod. We've added a button to the texture pack menu that links to the NFC texture pack repository. So now instead of needing to scrounge around our forms, you can just click on it in the texture pack menu and it'll link straight to it. Uh, then there's some language stuff for the update. Uh, we have added the Slovenian language. We have updated Russian, Spanish, French, Serbian, Belarusian, Bulgarian, and Ukrainian. Thanks to Nocturni, Met, and Kaskumish for those updates. We have done a rewrite of magnet tools, with them now picking up everything that drops from a block instead of just the block itself. So if you break a chest or a furnace with stuff still inside of it, instead of just getting the block itself back into your inventory, it'll give you everything that's inside of the container. Also, overall, they should just function a bit nicer. Uh, we've renamed fire creepers to infernal creepers and fire spiders to blazing spiders. This was just to make the names a little more interesting. Uh, doors now stack to 64. Signs stack to 16. Lava buckets, anthracite, and oil buckets smelt for twice as long in the brick oven and furnace than they did in version 3.4.1 underscore 02. Lava buckets now smelt for 48 instead of 24, anthracite for 56 instead of 28, and oil buckets for 64 instead of 32. Sticks, saplings, and scaffolding can now be used as fuel in the brick oven. Shears can now pick up dead bushes. We've improved butt responsiveness in multiplayer using code written by Dirt Piper for, for NSSS. And we've removed the sky darkening effect from GUIs such as the workbench, inventory, etc. And that's pretty much all. Uh, right after this, we're going to jump into version 3.5 development, assuming we don't run into any issues. And if we do, I'll update the description with them just as we did with the previous version. Have a nice day, everyone.